The 6-4 and four Hillers took on 8-4 and four Medfield. Scoreless game heading into the bottom of the first, and the Hillers' bats really got going. Deals. On the ground, left side, and that is going to be handled by the shortstop, but he has no play, and a Hillers' run will score. It is 1-0 on the RBI single by Simi. Whitla takes a look at first and deals. And this is third base side, picked up by the third baseman. Throw to second, gets away. Everybody's going to be safe. Another Hiller's run is going to score. And advancing over to third base is going to be Simi. And it's two to nothing. Played as well, he's played in seven of the 10 games, hitting a 385. And he hits this in a right field, battling the sun. And that is going to drop in for a hit. And it is going to be three to nothing Hillers. That will be an RBI double for Lehman. And this is crushed in the left field. That'll drop in. Another Hillers run around to score. It is four to nothing on the RBI single by LeBlanc. 10 games up to this point, and we'll hit this in the left field. That'll drop in, and another Hillers run will come around to score. Sam Lehman crosses the plate. It's five to nothing Hillers. An RBI single for Hebert from the stretch, two on, two outs. Already five runs across for the Hillers. And this is a bloop shot in a center field. That'll drop in. Another Hillers run around a score. An RBI single makes it six to nothing. Bottom of the first rally. Willa deals on the ground. That's going to get through the hole on the left side. Runner being waved around. The throw in from left field is not going to be in time. Seven nothing Hillers. And that is going to be it for Stuart Whitla, an early exit from this one. Still in the first inning, a new pitcher for Medfield, Sean Tyre on the mound to face Jack Vacari. Unfortunately, we had some technical difficulties, but Jack Vacari crushed a pitch past the center field fence to cap off a 10-run first inning for the Hillers. It would remain 10-0 until the Hillers' offense continued in the bottom of the third. Delivers, and this is hit over towards right field, and it is going to be out of the reach of Ryan Schwar, and that is going to be a home run. They're going to call it a home run for Zach Sosicki. Wasn't sure if it made contact with a piece of the fence in play, and then dropped out, but it is a home run for Sasitsky, and it is 11 to nothing Hillers. Second homer of the game for Hopkinton. Crushes this into left field, and that is gonna get out of the ballpark. A two run blast for Jack Vacari, his second home run of the game. 13 to nothing, Hillers. Hillers did even more damage in the bottom of the fourth. And Bakari gets a piece of this one to left field, and that'll drop in front of the fence for a base hit. Another run in the score. And with the way he contacted that ball, it looked like he was aiming for his third home run of the day. Pitch. And this is hit in the air towards left field, up the hill, and that's gone! How about that, a three-run homer from Alex Reynolds. It's 20 to nothing, Hillers. Medfield added two in the top of the fifth, but too little too late as the Hillers pick up their seventh win of the season by way of the mercy. Hillers scored 20 runs on 21 hits, to take the game 20 to two, Jack Vacari had a day to remember as he went four for four at the plate with two home runs and two doubles. He also scored all four times and batted in six runs. Alex Reynolds and Zach Sasitsky also hit home runs in the game as the Hillers win big. My fellow captain Kyle set the tone right off the bat, hit a line missile right into the gap and definitely just got the team going. So I think we all kind of fed off that. And uh, I don't know, it was a great game. Everyone played well, so.
Now you've been hitting well all season long, but did you see something in those pitchers today that uh, allowed you to go four for four with a pair of homers? I don't know. I was just seeing the ball well. Um, I like lefty pitchers especially, so uh, they threw some lefties. So I don't know. I was just seeing the ball well. All right, and your starter today making his debut. He had a nice outing as well. Oh yeah, he's a stud. He's a stud. He's gonna make big plays for us. Yeah, well, really, it's all about um, the kids' approach. Um, you know, we we talk about it every single day in practice in our pregame BP. Um, it is just, you know, staying, keeping our hands inside the baseball and just thinking middle, thinking opposite field, um, not trying to do too much with it. And really, um, that, that's, that's when you get the best results. And, and our kids are just, they're phenomenal as far as um, doing what they need to do and, uh, and doing things the right way. And so, you know, couldn't be happier with, it, with their swings today, obviously. They were, they were great. Yeah, and the starter uh, Burdick today, a great yeah, performance in his yeah, debut. Yeah, well, Chris is a kid you just trust. You know, I had him even in freshman basketball. He was my point guard. Um, and him and Ryan Wolf, who were both on this team, they were my point guards. And they're the two of them, actually. Those kids just trust with the ball in their hands. And, you know, he's never pitched a varsity inning. But, you know, that's a very tough midfield lineup um, that beat us the first time around that he faced. And, you know, to hold him to two runs over five innings, it's just, you know, I can't say enough about what he did. But, you know, he's... Uh, He's just tremendous today. Should we be expecting Chris to make more starts soon? Yeah, he earned another one, that's for sure. Um, we got four next week, so um, so yeah, he, he certainly he certainly looks like he uh, he could be. And uh, Jack Vaccari just seemed like he was on another planet today. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can you talk about his performance out there? Well, Jack Jack is a kid that, that is um, he's a three year starter for us, and sometimes he he doesn't realize just how talented and how good he is. He's a very humble kid. And uh, to see him perform the way he's been hitting this year, you know, he's, he and Alex are one, two in the league in batting average, which is phenomenal for such a good league. And, you know, the swings he took today, every single time his approach was good. You know, obviously, you know, the results were great, but just, you know, his approach, you know, um, at the plate has just been, it's been awesome. And it couldn't happen to a better kid. You know, he's having a great year and, and you know, we're really happy for him. All right, and uh, that, that, that uh, Zach Sasitsky home run, uh, what would you see on that? Uh, it was over the fence. It was a home run. That's what I saw. I yeah, it was a home run. It was a home run. Zach's first. He's the only sophomore. He's already got a home run in his belt. <laughs> All right, Coach. Thanks a bunch. All right. Thanks, Tom.